How's it everyone? Welcome to another court checklist right here on Open Court. So maybe you guys have been thinking about tinkering with your racket, maybe adding some weight and customizing your racket. So on today's video, I'd like to give a brief explanation on what adding weight to certain areas of your racket will do for your game. So typically you will add weight to your racket in the form of lead tape, which is basically just lead or weighted tape that you will place in certain areas of your racket. So if you want to increase power, most people will add weight up here at the 12 o'clock position. So adding weight all the way up here will drastically increase the swing weight because it's the furthest point from where you're holding the racket. And so it will also raise the sweet spot. Typically the sweet spot's gonna be in the center of the racket. It's actually gonna shift it up a little bit higher in the string bed. And this will give you a little bit more power because now you're hitting the ball at a slightly uh, further point from your body which leads to more extension equaling more power. This will typically help most especially on the serve. But maybe you don't want the sweet spot to be so high if you want to keep it in the center you can offset the weight up here by putting weight at the six o'clock position. This will actually elongate the sweet spot vertically so it'll feel like you have a little bit longer mains and so you'll have a little bit more leeway when you want to hit a little bit more power. Next up, probably the most common setup I see many players putting weight is at the three and nine o'clock positions this way. So this will increase the sweet spot horizontally this way and it'll give you a little bit more torsional stability, meaning when you strike the ball off outside the sweet spot, the racket won't twist as much in your hand. This is better for ground stroke players, especially if you guys have a heavy defensive oriented game. Um, notably, Novak Djokovic and Andy Murray use this setup at three and nine. This is also called a depolarized setup. We'll touch on polarized setups later, but if, you're, if your game is predicated on defense and heavy ground strokes um, and you have to play against hard hitters, the three and nine position over here will give you a little bit more stability it won't increase power as much, but it'll also increase the swing weight because you're still adding weight in the head. Now, maybe you like the balance of your racket. You don't want to increase the swing weight too much. If you just want to increase the heft of your racket, maybe you'll typically add weight in the throat over here. This will increase the swing weight somewhat because you're still adding weight outside of your hand, but it's not going to change the balance point and it's not going to make the racket feel as sluggish. I personally like putting weight in the throat here because I want a little bit more plow through, a little bit more stability, but I don't typically like putting weight up here because then it becomes sluggish and it's difficult to maneuver the racket at the net. So if you just want to increase the heft of the racket without shifting the balance or increasing the swing weight too much, you can add weight uh, lead tape here in the throat. And lastly, you can also open up the butt cap over here and add tungsten putty inside the butt cap or maybe you can just take off the grip and wrap lead tape around the base of the handle here. What this will do is obviously it's going to decrease the swing weight a little bit because now you're adding weight below your hand and so your, your balance point is going to shift more towards the handle. So it's going to be a lot more head light and a lot more maneuverable. If you want to be maneuverable at the net with like reflex volleys or if you want to have more uh, acceleration on the pronation for the kick serve typically. I recommend putting uh, weight under the butt cap. Every single racket that I own, I open this butt cap up and I put weight under here because I like headlight rackets. I look for help with that kick serve pronation. I look for uh, maneuverability at the net, which is why I always add weight here. Sometimes I also add weight here, but every racket I have, I like to put weight under the butt cap. So earlier we talked about a depolarized setup, which is adding weight at three and nine. Let's talk about a polarized setup. So polarization is, as the name suggests, adding weight at the polar ends of the racket. So at 12 o'clock here and under the butt cap at the end here. What this does is it creates a little bit more spin because when you strike the ball with a polarized setup, the racket will actually move and vibrate a little bit more at the point of contact, resulting in a little bit more ball rotation. This consequently, because it's vibrating more, will also feel a little bit stiffer. Notably, Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal use polarized setups because they have loose grips and they want to accelerate through the point of contact and generate that spin. So I hope this quick racket customization guide was useful to you. 
I encourage you guys, if you're not satisfied with your racket, maybe tinker around with lead positioning. You could also put weight at the 10 and two o'clock position here to give you a little bit of a blend of the three and nine torsional stability as well as the power of the 12 o'clock uh, position. So give it a try, uh, try out different setups and figure out what setup works best for you. Thank you for watching this court checklist right here on Open Court. If you guys like this content, be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button and I'll see you on an open court.